تم تحبون الله فاتبعوني يحببكم الله ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم والله غفور رحيم We profess love. What if we profess love? But what does our love translate into? I'll tell you what it translates into. It translates into us giving it a larger, you know, big slogan. Bro, I'm ready to die for the honor of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I'm ready to die for him. You're not ready to live like him and you're ready to die for him? Bro, Islam, Takbir, Allah Akbar. I'm ready to die for Islam. You're not ready to live like a Muslim? Are you ready to die for Islam? But knowingly or unknowingly, knowingly or unknowingly, we have taken other people as our role models. And they are our role models. They are the people that we follow. We know more about celebrities than we know about the Prophet What does that mean? Knowingly or unknowingly, we have made them our role models. You know, they tell you wear high heels, you wear high heels, low heels, low heels. You know, Palestinian scarf is in fashion. You all wear Palestinian scarf. What are you wearing that for, bro? The cause. Viva Palestina. Your tight jeans, you wear them tight. They tell you wear them loose, you wear them loose. They tell you wear them halfway back your, down your backside, you wear your trousers halfway down your backside. I mean, have some, have some respect for yourself. Who wants to see the color of your underpants? That is true. Who wants to see the color of your underpants? But this is it. But even more sinister than all this is that we use the name of the love of the Prophet ﷺ to divide us. We use the name of the Prophet ﷺ to divide us. Bro, keep away from me, he's a wabi. You don't know what wabi means. But you, you know, you use it. You know, there's a story or maybe made up, but they say that there was a Hindu shopkeeper. He used to be in a village. And in that village, there was a... Maulana Saab, not like these, this was respectful Maulana, this, that one was a bit dodgy one. And he used to go to him and he used to take credit of him. So the credit came quite large and the Hindu shopkeeper said, look, Maulana Saab, pay me, he said, next week, next week we came, he said, next week, next week. So uh, the Hindu said, look, from now, no more credit for you. Maulana said, you'll regret it. He said, you'll regret it. He said, do what you need to do. So come Juma, he ascends the pulpit. And he said, I have a very important announcement to make. Do you know that Hindu shopkeeper? He's become a Wahhabi. Everybody boycott him. So everybody in the village boycotts this shopkeeper. So next week he comes to Molana and says, please Molana, take as much credit as you want. Take as much as you want. So next week Molana ascends the pulpit and he said, Alhamdulillah, I have some glad tidings for you. You know that? Hindu shopkeeper who had become a Wahhabi. Alhamdulillah, he's done Tawbah and he's become a Sunni again. But see, nobody knows what they mean. But we have them on the tip of the tongue. And what do we use? Subhanallah. We use the love of the Prophet ﷺ. We take out of context other people's statements. We justify our own statements to divide the Ummah. And this is on the tip of the tongue of many children. There was a Somalian masjid I went once in Birmingham and there was kids, you know, 10, 11 year old kids on, on bikes. And I said, where's this Somalian masjid? They said, it's over there, uncle. So I'm walking and they said, uncle, don't go in there, it's a Wabi masjid. So we use the love of the Prophet Sallallahu to divide the Ummah. Whilst the unique thing of the Prophet Sallallahu was that he brought the Ummah together. And therefore, you know, everybody's intelligent here. You should think about these things and educate yourself. Because if we cannot unite in this current climate, then when can we? But this rhetoric is off repeated. And we buy into this. And because see, we want to feel good about ourselves. We don't have to do much actions. We don't have to do much actions. As long as I love the Prophet Sallallahu what does this love mean? I don't know. Yeah, you have a guy, you know, he goes, he goes, I love the Prophet I'm an Ashik Rasul. And then you, then there's a guy down the street who goes to the masjid five times a day. He has a miswak in his pocket because it's the sunnah of the Prophet He has a beard because it's a sunnah and he loves the sunnah of the Prophet And he goes to the masjid five times a day. 
He is a Wabi Gustaf. And me, I'm the Ashke Rasul. And come Fajr time, I can't get out of my bed. You know Ashke Rasul, you Ashke bed. But see, nobody knows what they mean. But we have them on the tip of the tongue. And what do we use? Subhanallah. We use the love of the Prophet Sallallahu So we use the name of the love of the Prophet Sallallahu to divide us.